Hi, P3 students! Welcome again to our English 3 class with Miss Ida. And we are now on Unit 5, Lesson 5, If I Built a House. Let's get our learner's book and open it on pages 70 until 7 to 3 while you watch this video. So please don't forget, get your English notebook and your pen as you will be answering some of the activities as we go along. So are you ready? Let's get started! Here are our learning objectives. Listening. Listen to a house description. Speaking. Speak about dream homes. Speak about the palm. Recite the palm. For reading, read a palm. For critical thinking, comparing and contrasting. Finding rhyme. For language focus, made up words, rhyming words. For our vocabulary, we have the following words. Backyard, poxy, boring, bland, basics, space, age, robotic, put away, tower, feet, view, empty, switch, turn off, flap, Race track, loop, go kart, flip, zip, zoom. For our warm up activity, let's look at some unusual homes around the world. Which one do you like to live in and why? Do you like house number one, children? What about number two? What about Homes 3, 4, and 5. Take your time to choose children. For our activity number 2, let's listen and read Jack's Dream House. Extracts from If I Build a House by Chris Van Dozen. Are you ready, children? Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically planned. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen, oh mat. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space-age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. And here is my bedroom way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower, now that's something new. Next comes my flying room, see how it's tall. It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground, then flap like a bird and fly all around. This is my race truck room. Step right inside. It's like a room and more like a ride. It features a race truck that loops all around with super fast go karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. Do you like the story, children? And for activity three, we read and talk. You have here six questions to answer, children. Take your time to answer each question. And we will be checking your answers tomorrow during our Zoom meeting. For language detective, let's read, the food is delish. Delish is not a real word. What do you think it means? What real word does it sound like? What do you think, children? And for the fourth activity, we have the word study. Find the words in blue. Match them with their meaning. We have here, boring space age tower view 
switch, flap, and zoom. Take your time to find the meaning children. For the fifth activity, it's two word study, but this time you have to find the pairs of rhyming words in the poem. Write and say them. We have here two examples mother, other, bland, plant. Can you find more rhyming words in the poem, children? And for our last activity, let's talk and write. What do you think the other rooms in Jack's house are like? For example, the living room and the bathroom. Take your time to do your writing activity, children. And that ends our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Be ready and be on time for our Zoom meeting tomorrow. Please stay safe and healthy always children at home. Bye-bye and God bless everyone.